I just love to play volleyball, so it's just cool to be like around people who are good and like passionate and want to like try. Otherwise, what's the point of playing if you don't want to like do good? I'm the coach of the men's club volleyball team. I've been playing volleyball for 10 years. I think I played three years for the club here. I see it as a way for myself to get touches at, on volleyball as well because like I'm still I'm trying to coach as much as I can like I spend the first three hours of practice just watching everyone running drills making people run making people shuffle for hours. I feel like I have enough experience where I know what they're going up against at these tournaments so I like to assert myself in that way so they can get touches from these players that they're going to be playing at in tournaments without being at a tournament just so they can get higher quality reps at practice if that makes sense i am the president of the men's club volleyball team here at the university of idaho january of 2022 was when i started playing volleyball so the first way i made friends was in the rec center one day, I saw a bunch of people playing and I counted to make sure they had 11 so I could, I could have a spot. I think that being able to walk around campus and seeing friendly faces and seeing people like in the dining hall or walking through the student union building, it helps build some, some camaraderie and it's always good to see my friends just walking around. I transferred here after my first semester freshman year. I mean, I didn't know anybody in the state, let alone the school. So when I first got here, it was really nice to be welcomed in in that kind of atmosphere and give me a, a good way to meet people right away. So I'm very grateful for this club and the opportunities it's given me to meet people and friends I hope to keep for a long, long time. Most of my closest friends I have made through this club team. It's for some people, this is the only time I get to see them during the week, so it's a lot of fun to come out and see some of my really close friends. Honestly, it's just a great sport. I fell in love with it when I got to see these like skilled players play, and the guys I get to play with are a great group of guys, so they make it funner and yeah, they make it enjoyable. I first joined because both my brothers had played the volleyball club here, and they had both recommended it, so I guess that's why I gave it a shot, and then I ended up just loving it. I made most of my friends through the uh, men's volleyball team here, so I'm a great group of guys. Uh, my name is Gossam. I'm a junior. I just came to U of I and like there was people playing in the sand courts and I just started playing every day. And I don't know, I just love volleyball. A lot of my friends right now are through the club and hang out with and stuff. I like to keep it like as like coach player as I can, but it's like, I can't help it. Like these guys are, I consider them all my friends. This team is like comprised of just groups of friendships. So there's like a male group of six here, a group of five there. And then like, they're all friends and then they all come together. They play volleyball, they do their thing and then they go home. And then that's that. Like, I don't ask them to just be best. I don't ask them to be best friends, but I'd say a lot of the guys on the team are pretty close. Keeping everyone happy and friendly with each other is pretty nice because we don't want anyone like yelling at each other or screaming or anything.
17 credit hours this semester. So I've got a lot to keep up with the school, a lot of classes. I mean, obviously I'm a junior, so I'm in a lot of upper level classes. So school's really hitting hard. And at the end of the day, school is the reason I'm here, no matter how fun volleyball is. So there are days where I would much rather sit and study or focus on an assignment or a project than come here. But being the president, I committed to this team, so I'm not gonna bow out on that commitment. It's getting bigger, like the floor of like the player's skill is going up. So it's eventually gonna get to a point where they don't need someone like me and they'll just have, everyone is just gonna be able to run practice by themselves in. A few of our guys I'd say don't have very much tournament experience. So just getting as much as that as we can before tournaments is really crucial just because we can be at practice all day and pass free balls, free ball serves all day and kill those. But then like as soon as points go on the line where like it's either you win this point or you go home, it just kind of changes like the outlook of the game and the, the whole scene of volleyball just changes. It's just like the level of play goes from a four to like maybe a seven or an eight. And that's just like a lot of guys aren't ready for that. So it's always been tricky business for WSU. Whenever we scrimmage against them, we lose. Like it's expected. We always try random stuff. We goof off. We're just like, oh, what's this is all new. We have a strong team. With team sports, especially one like this, where there's just like domino effects where something bad will happen, something else bad will happen, and then it just goes and goes and goes and goes, and then the game will be over. I've never really been on the outside looking in for this, so I'm gonna try to make that not happen. Because they are so close, it grants us a unique opportunity to practice against other people, get some other looks, and just see what, see what other people look like, basically. Like, we've been practicing against the same people for, at this point, going on 100 hours this year. So it's just nice to get new atmosphere, new location, new people, you know, get freshen it up a bit. Tournaments are a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to be able to take it out of the physical education building, go on the road and show off what we've been working on, you know, compete against other schools in the area. It's always fun to go against the best, see what you actually are working on. Like from last year to this year, it's like our, our tempo has just gotten tremendously faster from last year. So I'm hoping that they see it, they're able to learn as much as they can from it, and we'll take it to the first tournament. Like our level of play just will adjust to that, to that. So like they know what to expect after that. Like I don't really have to change anything. They, it basically just does itself. We're all just out there for fun. If it was, if we weren't having fun, we wouldn't be doing it. Cut. Yeah. Uh, scene three. Fire particles. Let's cut. Cut. That's a wrap. <laughs>